Hello everyone and welcome to a new video of Python Tutorials for Beginners series. In this video we'll be talking about what modules are, then we'll be writing our own modules, and we'll also learn how to use Python's built-in modules as well as third-party modules written by other developers. We'll also take a look at how to use pip and how to install packages with it. In Python, modules are Python files that can be imported into other files. For example, this main.py file here is a Python module. If we created a functions pi here, this would be a Python module as well. And writing your code into separate modules is actually very useful because after learning the basics of Python, you will start building projects. And once you start building projects, you will notice that each, each of your projects will have different components. And separating your code for each of these components into different Python modules will actually make it much easier for you to manage that project and organize all your code. Also, once you write some of your code into a module for a project, you can also use that module in your later projects as well, which can get very time efficient. So now let's actually write our own module. And for this module, I already some code and let me just paste them. Here we have a Fibonacci method, which basically prints the number of terms that we pass into the function as a parameter. Now let me just show a quick example here. Let's say we give three, and as for the Fibonacci series, it will go from zero to the third index here, which is two. And let's say we have to use this fib function inside our project. How we can use this is simply by Going into our main file, here we can import the functions module we have created, and as you can see, it's already auto-completed. This functions module is basically the functions that Py module we created here, and we basically import this file into our main program by saying import functions. Then inside our main.py file, if you want to access the fib function, you basically have to do functions dot whatever the name of the function is. And in this case, it is fib. So we say fib, and then we pass in the argument, which is three. And let's save and run the code. Oops, I've missed the S here. Let me fix it, and yes, now it should be working. As you can see, we are able to use the function that we've defined in another module. Just as a quick note, I also want to, want to show you another way of running your modules in Python, and that is by going into terminal, you can write Python, then you can write the name of the Python module you want to run, and that is functions.py. Obviously, it won't have any output right now, so let's just call this function to have some output. And once we run this command on our terminal, we get the output. Also, another way of running a module in Python is running it interactively. And we do this by Python slash i, and i basically stands for interactive. Then the name of the file, which is functions.py. And once we run that comment, not only we get this output, but also we're still able to access the functions or the variables that were cre that was created inside the program. So we are still able to access the fib function here. So we can write fib5 or fib6 again. We won't get any error as fib isn't defined or anything. Also, as this is an interactive shell, you can write any Python command you want. So we can write a print statement, and we will get the outputs interactively. And I just wanted to show you this way of running modules in Python. And this functions that Py was a module written by us, and writing a module all by yourself can sometimes be tedious. That's why we have built-in modules in Python. And these modules are basically developed by the developers of Python so that we can make use of them in our projects. In order to learn more about Python's built-in modules, you can check out Python's official documentation about them. And I will actually leave this link in the description as well. And basically here, you can find any of the built-in modules, let's say calendar, and you can read their official documentation to learn more about how to use the methods or functions 
that are written in this module work. But for this video, we'll be specifically looking at a module called MAT, which basically helps us perform MAT operations in our programs. And MAT basically have many functions that are written into it. But in this video, we'll take a look at the seal and the floor methods written in this MAT module. As you can read here, the seal method will basically return the sealing of the number x we are passing into it, or the smallest integer value that is greater or equal to x. And let's actually use these methods in our program. We can remove all these now. And now let's import mat. And now let's say you want to print the sealing of, and the method name was seal, ceiling of 9.3 and as the documentation said this should give us the value 10 and let's see what we're getting and we're getting exactly 10 which is the smallest integer greater than 9.3 and also we could use the floor method here as well and this would obviously return us 9. also if we had a specific method or a function that we wanted to import from this math module what we could have done is let's say we only want to import the floor method we could have done from math import floor and basically with this notation we don't have to write math anymore because we're specifically importing floor into our program and now we can just run this floor function right away and when we run the code we are exactly seeing the same output this way. And as I said, there are many more modules and many more functions that you can use that are already built by Python developers. And I encourage you to check them all from Python's official documentation. In addition to all these modules, you can also use third party modules that are written by other developers just like you who thought their code might be useful for other developers as well and they basically publish their code to a site called PyPI and this site is basically the Python basically Python's package index even you as a developer can share your own module as a package with other Python developers but that is a subject of another video in this video we'll be taking a look at how to install and use other modules modules that are created by others and so you can search in any package you want to search for here. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at NumPy. And let's just search NumPy here. And you can get additional information related to the package here, as well as the command for downloading NumPy. And let's just copy it. Now, basically, NumPy is a third-party Python module or package. Now, basically, NumPy is a third-party third-party Python package, and you can normally import NumPy by writing import NumPy if you have it installed. But since we haven't installed, installed it yet, once we run the code, you'll actually get a no module named NumPy error here. In order to install it, we have to go in, into our terminal, and we have to paste the command we copied earlier on, which is pip, and pip is basically the package installer for Python, and then you want to install, then you add the name of the package you have. And once you press enter, the installation should begin. And if you're getting any errors required to pip is not recognized, I will publish a video on how to fix that really soon. After your installation is complete, when you run the code once more, you shouldn't be getting any errors and now we've actually installed and imported a third-party module into our program for our later use. And since this isn't a NumPy tutorial, I won't go into how to use NumPy or what are the use cases of it. But basically, you can import any package that you might need for your project. And you can import others code for saving a lot of time. And this was all about modules and pip for beginners in Python. Please comment down 
which module you want to learn most about in Python. And also, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to leave a like and share the video with your friends. And I hope to see you in the next video.